Alright, so we got new Season 14 just around the corner, and honestly, one of the things I'm most excited for, the thing I'm most excited for, is the map changes on Kings Canyon. I think they're going to look great. I think this is going to be one of the better things they've done to Kings Canyon in a very long time, probably since Season 2, to be honest. So in this video, we're going to go ahead and go in-depth and look at all of these map changes. Hello, I'm Firebug. If you guys are new to this channel, first of all, welcome. Secondly, if you want more Apex Legends content like this on your YouTube feed, make sure to subscribe. It's totally free to you. It helps me out a ton. I do appreciate every single subscription. Also wanted to quickly say I'm sponsored by Swift Grips. If you want grips for your Xbox or PlayStation controller, you can get them for less than 2 bucks using my code for a little discount. The link is in the description if you're interested. Alright, so Kings Canyon getting changes in Season 14. I'm pretty excited for this. Of course, the highlight, and I'm going to cover it first, is the new POI relic now this is basically mini skull town uh thunderdome still non-existent but it's basically covers where salvage was as you see in the big image of the map um and this was teased a little bit there was a little flyer in lifeline sound takeover that said the salvage operation was complete not a whole lot of people saw that but those who did knew something was coming and this is what is here Honestly, I'm a fan of it. It's it's really if you're hoping to get Skulltown back and you're all hyped up, it's it's really not going to be that. However, it is going to be something, and from the looks of it, it's something that most people I think are going to like. I'm a big fan of it. They kept it small. They kept it simple. It's not big and extravagant. However, I think it'll still be a popular drop spot, and I think it'll overall improve the map, adding a little bit more space to Kings Canyon. As we see here, you can see the old area and the new area. Um, from a like scenic standpoint, this looks great. I think it looks amazing. One of the better looking POIs on this map for sure. And you can tell it's definitely not Skull Town. It's a lot smaller. It's like a street and a half. But it definitely looks like it'll be fun to play on, especially up on that skull and everything. End games here would probably be exciting. Not to mention off drop. I like how they painted the skull. It's like red and colorful. Uh, we got a good amount of supply bins around here. Overall, a really solid POI. So, Relic is the first change. Honestly, big fan of it. The second change they did is they changed Cage and the hillside area. Um, some of this I'm not a fan of. Some of this I think is all right. I'd like to hear what you think of this down in the comments. The first one we're going to talk about is Cage. So basically the top half of Cage used to have a lot of cover around it. It was very isolated. You got up there and you were in your own world. That has now been ripped wide open. So it's just like the floor below it. Um, I think maybe this will work out. People would like to camp up there and then you would have no clue people were camping up there. There was sort of like there was a level um, above the floor level that you could get up to a zip lines that's no longer there. So they basically removed a level, a little bit of loot from the cage area. However, the openness I might like a little bit more. It allows for people to snipe back. People would sit up the very top and snipe through those gated windows, and it just wasn't fun to deal with. So. We'll have to see how this one plays out. I think they knew what they were doing when doing this. As of now, I don't like it and I want the old cage back. But again, we're going to have to see how this one actually plays out in-game in season. The next one is the hillside outpost area. This used to be basically an entire POI on its own. It wasn't labeled on the map, but it used to be big enough it could be its own POI. They've reduced it a little bit, basically taking out the buildings the actual like rooms and leaving it more open so again they're opening things up a little bit anti-camp allows for you know people to snipe back people again used to sit in the windows of these buildings and snipe across the map a little bit less of that especially um the jibby alts and stuff uh it kind of reduces the verticality you have the protection when you move vertically here which maybe it'll be a Vulcan horizon counter we'll have to see it seems like really the only cover you could get from a jibby airstrike here would be underneath the the little platform which isn't a whole lot again I, this is another one like cage i'm not a fan of because i really did like this area and i think a lot of other people did but we're gonna have to see how it plays out during the season then in the back corner of the map, it was broken relay, and it really wasn't a whole whole lot. I mean, there would be some end games back here, and they would be fun, but there just wasn't a whole lot. They basically added a couple more buildings. 
if correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I think these were the same buildings that were here before, so it's much more like Relay was, just without the big Relay extra island way out there. So I, this one I'm a fan of. I, I like that they threw a couple more buildings and a little bit more loot back here, especially since for some reason a lot of end games were back here. The next thing is they made a whole bunch of changes to all the holes in the mountains. Basically, a lot of the caves got updated. I'm not going to walk through most of these. Um, I'm going to show you the the before and the after. The after is going to be the brighter of the two. They did change a couple of these. I mean, I'm not. I don't really mind all that much about these changes. Um, if you know where they are and you care, well, you'll be able to know. If you have no idea where these are, it's probably not going to mean anything to you. The main one I wanted to highlight is this cave going from the river area towards market in salvage big cave um, walking down the river off to the right from you know walking from bunker to cage down the river this is going to no longer be there apparently that's a big thing and the other one is at market there is going to be a new tunnel connecting to the main cave system that cave that would go from cage straight to the skull town area um, past market there used to be a little cave in a back corner that would connect to the main cave They have moved that so now the old one is no longer there and there's now a new one Those are the main changes with those again if you care about the other ones um, That's great. I'm not going to talk through them because it takes me forever to explain where they are They also refresh the loot the loot is known to be pretty bad on Kings Canyon um, They basically up the quality and the distribution of it Which is great because that was a, a big complaint when it came to Kings Canyon and the last main thing I'm going to talk about here is the skybox the skybox has been updated basically it's going to be brighter as you can tell um, last seasons or previous seasons since I think season 8 it's been a little bit darker um, and personally not a big fan of the darker map I think the brighter skybox um, brings a better vibe to the map overall so I'm a big fan of that however you let me know what you think of that in the comments and the very, very last thing, if you're interested, you can read through these. I'm not going to read through them all. They did make some smaller little quality of life changes to King's Canyon. If you want to read through them, go right ahead. However, those aren't anything major, so I'm not going to talk about them. You let me know what you think of King's Canyon. Overall, I'm a fan of the changes just in general. I think they're all good in general. Um, we'll have to see how it all plays out in the season, though. So thank you all for watching. I will see you later.